Hello everyone, I have been building model airplanes and drones for 10 plus years and never have I had such a problematic build. So this is the Tubular Quad version 6, which is my custom FPV freestyle frame, which I designed and built from scratch, and it uses tubes for arms. And this has been the most problematic build I've ever done, and we're going to talk about that in this video. But first, I have a new Discord server that's up and running, so the link is in the description. Make sure to join that. And if you enjoy the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's see this thing in the air and then we'll talk about all the problems I've been having. All right, so I definitely was rusty because I've been dealing with all these problems and the tune wasn't perfect, but hopefully you still enjoyed that flight. Now let's talk about all the problems I've been having with this quad and where it stands now. So one of the main changes to the version six was moving to a 20 by 20 stack so that I could save some weight with the boards themselves. And then also it allowed me to make some design changes that saved some weight with the frame design. However, I've been having problems finding a good 20 by 20 stack. So I started off with the Newbie Drone Infinity 200 stack and I immediately had a problem with the flight controller. So one of the things I was looking for in my 20 by 20 flight controller was a BEC that can power my video transmitter. So I believe this has a five volt, two amp or three amp BC, which is more than enough to power my five volt video transmitter. However, with the video transmitter set to full power, apparently the board isn't designed very well because it caused a bunch of noise to enter the gyro, and there was so much noise in the gyro that the quad would not even arm. So the only way I could fly this was to turn down the video transmitter power, and even then the quad would jitter every once in a while. And actually I'm not sure if that still was the flight controller's problem, because at some point in this timeline, I had a motor go out on me, so that was one of the many problems of this build. But regardless, I didn't want to keep using this flight controller because I couldn't run my video transmitter at full power. So this newbie drone board, garbage. So I moved on to the T-Motor F7 20 by 20 flight controller. I thought, you know, T-Motor has a good reputation with motors. They probably have good flight controllers and I was wrong about that. So right out of the box, this had a problem and that was that the current sensor analog to digital converter did not work. 
However, I did work around this by remapping in the Betaflight CLI one of the ADCs to work as the current sensing ADC. So I ended up using the RSSI pad to hook up my current sensor wire from the ESC2 so that I could get a current reading. So bad start for this board and it did fly fine. However, in comes the tubular quad V6 and a design flaw. In a crash, the top plate gets pushed back and the standoffs can flex backwards and they can actually hit the flight controller. So this connector in the front got blasted off and I did solder it back on successfully. However, there was something else that got broken internally in the board. So this flight controller got toast. I wasn't really upset about it anyways because it came with an issue right out of the box. So this T-Motor F7 20 by 20 flight controller, also garbage. And another issue with just the shape of the board is that the edge of the board is a few millimeters past the actual holes for the board. And that just makes it so that this connector is even closer to that middle standoff. And it just makes it a lot easier to get blasted off. So then I went to the Icon or Acon, however you say it, F4 20 by 20 board. And I know Acon or Icon has a great reputation with boards as far as I know. And the other thing about this board that is great is that the connector is on the back and it doesn't protrude out from the holes. So it basically works well with the design flaw of this current version of the tubular quad. And it's gonna be very hard for this thing to get broken. I have one of these in the quad currently and you can see I have one out of the quad. So I actually fried this out of human error because I didn't bother to double check my wiring given that I had gone through two flight controllers already and I paid the price for not double checking my wiring. I had the wiring on the connector from the ESC to the flight controller all kinds of messed up. So the magic smoke got let out of this thing, unfortunately. And following that, I noticed that the newbie drone ESC was getting extremely hot just sitting there. So obviously some kind of internal short within the newbie drone ESC. Now I'm not going to say that this newbie drone ESC is trash because that could have happened at the same time that I blew up this flight controller. So now in the quad, I have all Acon or Icon 20 by 20 stuff. So it's the F4 20 by 20 flight controller and then the AK32 20 by 20 ESC. And those seem to be performing just fine. The reason I didn't go with the Acon or Icon board initially is because I couldn't find a current rating for the BEC. But after going through this many boards, I just took a chance with it. And I just hoped that it would have enough power to power the five volt video transmitter. And it seems to be doing just fine. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is that for the ESC, I needed to add an 11 amp offset to the current sensor, which I've never had to add any kind of offset to the current sensor before. It's always very close initially. So that was just something very weird. I've used maybe five or six four in one ESCs at this point and none of them have had that happen. However, I'm gonna let it slide because you can adjust for that in beta flight and it does seem to be reading current just fine. Just something I wanted to mention though, not sure if that's normal. Let me know down in the comments below. So there will be a version seven of the tubular quad and the big change for that is going to be this bottom plate is going to go where this mid plate goes and I will also go with shorter standoffs so the top plate will stay where it is. So we'll basically give it a slammed stance and that will prevent that middle standoff from being able to move so much and whack whatever connector is on your flight controller. And I've actually considered this for previous versions of the tubular quad, but the reason why I didn't do that is because in previous versions it was 30 by 30 and there was barely any room with the current amount of height that I have. However, because the 20 by 20 stuff is smaller, now I feel comfortable going to a slammed stance and that will also save some weight because the standoffs will be shorter. All right, that's about it for this video. Just some minor changes I'll probably do to the current setup are to change the motors because the motors on there I think are two years old now and they're getting pretty beat up and out of balance. And then I'll just dial the PID tune in a little bit more, 
Once again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to go the extra mile or if you use an ad blocker, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Once again, the new Discord server is up and running. Link to that is in the description. So please join that. And lastly, if you can't get enough of me here on YouTube, I also have an Instagram page, timmy.r.c. Thanks for watching.